Hi everyone, I'm Cal Spriggs. Today I'm going to show you how I got my AdMac box set painted and tabletop ready. So I've had this box of Start Collecting Skatari uh, AdMac models for quite some time now, uh, at least five years. And in addition to them, I have some uh, Forge Bane uh, models that I'd stuck in there. You can see the, the additional ones. And every time I've gotten these guys out to start assembling and painting, I just haven't felt that there's so many tiny little details and um, tiny little pieces that I just didn't have it in me to, to get it done. But I figured this with the release of this new uh, codex for AdMac, it's the perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and get these guys all out and go ahead and start assembling them. Uh, it's a neat box. It comes with some decals, as you can see. It comes with a Dominus, and I decided to start with that Dominus. Clipping this guy out was pretty easy. Uh, putting them together, again, pretty easy. He's got a, a few options, a uh, couple different heads. He's got a uh, couple different uh, guns. I think uh, some kind of eradication beamer or something and uh, a Volkite. And uh, as with assembling any models, model prep is, is a big piece. Um, going ahead and shaving off all the little screw bits that um, don't necessarily come off as you clip the models. Making sure everything lines up is, is also good uh, before you start gluing. I definitely took my time with these guys because they got a ton of tiny little pieces and cables and everything else that stick off them. So I wanted to make sure everything lined up right. Now when I was doing this, there was a whole lot of me pausing and thinking about what I wanted to paint them and how I wanted to paint them. Um, identifying all those little details and the different arms and everything thinking about how I wanted to prime them because more likely than not these aren't going to be a primary army for me if anything it'll be a, a starter army that when I'm trying to teach someone how to play 40k or something I will let them use or I'll use these for um, role-playing games or I'll use them as set pieces when I'm trying to figure out a, a scene in a book I'm writing or something like that so my goal here is to have them tabletop ready, to have them look fairly good, but not to spend a whole lot of hours working on just a handful of models. Making sure everything fit right was, was key with this. I wanted it all to go together correct and not to have any problems, which on the Tech Priest Dominus, this was fairly easy. It goes together basically one way not a lot of imagination as far as posing them you can't really do very much but uh there he is i did have a bit of a problem I, i'm using plastic glue on these guys but trying to keep some of the floating skulls and and little gubbins sticking off this guy on but once i got them together he went together pretty easy i put them on the base and then um afterwards i pried them off the base because i realized i wanted to texture all the bases I used some Woodland Scenics Talus, which is really just some cork, I believe, and uh, used some super glue, a little bit of sand uh, as well to get these all based. This was a pretty quick process. Again, most of this project, uh, the prep work was the big piece, trying to get everything prepped so that once I started painting the models themselves, it all went real quick. Um, I like using this Talus stuff because it's got a nice mix of different size grains and I don't typically have to go back in and add sand or anything to the bases. And then uh, the only thing I added was some small rocks that uh, I had a, a bag of small pebbles and stuff that work really great for, you know, adding that little bit of extra texture to the bases to, to make them a bit more interesting or at least not stand out as being very flat and boring. Um, with the, the big oval base for the Arc Basir and for the, the really big base um, for the Dominus, I tried to cover up the holes that are from formed from part of the um, processing. But once I had the bases ready, I went back through and I started uh, removing the guys from the sprues. Now I will caution anyone who's assembling these guys, whether you're doing them as the Skatari Vanguard or Skatari Rangers, 
um, keep the arms together, um, the left and right arms, because if you get those confused, your things aren't going to match up. Same for the bodies, the cloaks won't won't fit up together properly if you're not um, keeping those together. So you can see I had a, a pile of these 20 different infantry guys where I'd basically put all of their uh, appropriate sprue bits together so that they were easy to assemble. Um, you can see me going through assembly line style, getting the bodies put together, and then I went back through and assembled the uh, the arms and heads. Now as, as part of this, you can see I, I went with the cloaked heads for all of them. Um, they have some armored heads, but I wasn't really a fan of that. And then I primed them. I primed the bases, that brownish red, and you can see I primed these guys black and then silver. I went with silver because that tremendously um, made my job easier as far as painting them because they have so much metallics on them. It doesn't really make sense to me to start with a different color for them primed because I just have to go back and, and paint all the silver. There's the Dominus down on his, his base. He came out looking pretty sharp already. And then I started in, I used um, contrast, I think it's ball red uh, paint. Um, and this went on real quick. It's uh, It's got great coverage. It's got uh, very good uh, overall usefulness for me. And I was able to just knock out these uh, 20 guys, as well as the Dominus, fairly quickly, hitting up their cloaks, hitting up their hoods, um, trying to just, yeah, get all the uh, red down on them and get them looking good. As I was working on this, I had several reference pictures up on my computer so that I could just kind of go and look at what areas I wanted to highlight, what areas I wanted to paint a bit more detail on. Um, I was definitely going for sort of a simple paint job that I can then improve over time. Remember not to be daunted by the complexity of a model as far as getting started with painting because once you get started a lot of the stuff comes together. Once I had the red on I went through and I started painting white all the areas that I wanted to hit with a glow effect. Um, on the Vanguard that was the areas on their rad guns, on the plasma guns, it was the sort of plasma coils. And basically I tried to get it everywhere I needed it so that uh, when I came back through with the, the highlight that would work. I then went through and I started painting the gold details on all the different models. I started with the Dominus because I felt like he would have the most bling on him to, to kind of make him pop a bit and stand out a bit more. Um, this was a pretty quick process. I basically um, had already got that undercoating of silver um, from priming it. So the gold went on really well, really nicely, and, and stood out pretty good. And then I went with this neon green that I've got. It doesn't have very good coverage by itself. That's why I undercoated with the white, and that really helps the neon green to pop. And uh, overall, it, it I love the effect it gets, especially under a brighter light. Um, the green in turn shines brighter. Um, I went through and I, I got all 20 of the guys, um, got the Dominus, and as you can see, they look pretty good. For what a simple paint job this was, it really came out quite well. I'm happy overall with how they look, and then once I get them on the train and on the table, uh, the red as well as the contrast with the, the bright green from their uh, different weapons really pops and makes them look good. I am excited to have them on the tabletop. I probably won't play with them much, but they they look ready for the, the game. Um, that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.